behind these tiny places are guarded secrets. Secrets I'll share with you because I lived in many of these. You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. Great show about the Ozarks. And remember the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. Oh friends, we know it's spring in the Ozarks. The calendar says so. Not many days ago here at Naka, we were out on a frosty morning with a full bouquet of bittersweet. Oh, how fast time goes. If you can't load up and come here, then come, take the journey with me. This is my favorite time of the year when I start seeing new life pop up along the streams, in the woods, across the field, sleeping beneath the Ozark floor, are spring wildflowers waiting to emerge. On a closer look, an expanded world of spring life appears. Dutchman breeches, a gentle white flower still wrapped like a mummy. Closed at night, open in the day. Native bees, the pollinators, cannot fly if the temperature drops below 55. As I strolled along a creek, a close look shows a shiny bee gathering pollen. A moth hidden under a petal in light drizzle. And a crab spider. Cows are grazing on the new sweet grain. Ozarkians are running their tillers turning the dirt, watching for storm clouds and snakes. <laughs> oh, friends, the Ozarks are for something almost lost to this fast-paced world. The pace of life here is slow. The earth sparkles with a million floral jewels. The towns, little and large, are part of these mountains. Anderson, Pineville, Goodman, Lanigan, Knoll, Rocky Comfort, Bethpage, Jane, and Powell. So very close to Big Sugar Creek and Cyclone, where Big Sugar Creek flows over the Cyclone Bridge, where Noggy would often swim. These towns appear to be crumbling, but 19th century facades. Hmm, behind these tiny places are guarded secrets. Secrets I'll share with you because I lived in many of these. Played in the creeks, knew the people and have relatives buried in the cemeteries. Friends, people make the place. But here, the place also shapes the people. I even love the old cemeteries here. Some well kept, some abandoned. Cowan Cemetery close to Powell Big Sugar Creek and Cyclone, where I have a special connection. Two of my great-great-grandfathers and one of my great-great-grandmothers are buried there. Oh, the bone-chilling stories. Something for those whose inner being seems empty. Or perhaps to conduct a study of the hardships endured by the early settlers. Many of the Ozark people buried in this area over 100 years ago 
were remembered only by descendants like myself. I tried to identify as many as possible by personally going to Callan numerous times and by research. Many in the 1800s did not purchase monuments to mark graves of relatives. My relatives who fought in the Civil War are there but many first names and dates of birth are unknown or worn away. For instance, my great-great-grandfather Joseph Witham, whose grave says, Civil War Veteran, Company F, Illinois Infantry, born 1844, died, question mark. But I know from family records that he died in March 1917. And I know he is in row 9, plot B, Callan Cemetery. Oh my, the hardships that our parents, grandparents and great-grandparents endured. They must have been scared. I don't like scared. Two years ago at my sister's home in Coy, close to Anderson, in their field by Patterson Creek, lay a young, beautiful, hungry, scared, abandoned dog. So scared he would hardly raise his head when called to. Story told that he had a brother or sister that may have been shot. My sister found him and called him Bubba. Bubba may also carry a buckshot in his side. He's with me now. His first night he was so scared he hid under the porch that very cold night. Hunger brought him out the next day. Bubba was very scared as I carried him inside and fed him. Lisa Sweet of Naka bought him a nice toy. As I do my research for my shows, Bubba lays his head on my lap. I gently stroke Bubba's side and back. But most important, He's not scared anymore. Not scared at all. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. As I've said before, the pups, Bubba and Cora May, are oh so sweet. So I've Got to leave you now because they're ready to eat. <laughs> As always, you'll find me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the farm.